Uh, moving on to the terrible part of the night. So dun dun yeah. Dun. So we passed by this place called um, I'm El afraid. Callejon. El Callejon. The alley. Um, Which, if I would have known it was called the alley, I probably would have wanted to right. go there. Right. Yeah. Little did we know how much like an alley it was gonna be. All right. So we passed by this place. Uh, on our way to Ogata, be- and we were like, that's where we're going to have entrees. Yeah, you were craving that. Yeah. Yes. So when we came, and we went in, and we asked the bartender what time they closed before we went to Ogata, and they're like, at that time, it was like 8.45 or something. Like, well, we close at 10. The kitchen closes at 10, but the restaurant closes at 12. I guess it turns into like a little bit of a bar. And it's like, well, great, because if we get back by 9.40, 9.45, then we're getting our order in before the kitchen closes, and we'll have plenty of time to eat it before the restaurant closes. I feel comfortable with that. Um, and so we came back at about 9.40, 9.45, and um, nobody was there to see us, right? Well, yeah, so we went back through the bar that we went to, which is probably like there the was new like edition. There was a bar to the right and to the left. Yeah, we didn't know, obviously, until... But they're like, oh, no, that bar is open. So the real bar was open, which right. was actually pretty cool. Like, it was in, a cool bar. It Thousands was much better. Thousands of kinds of tequilas. A wall-to-wall tequila. I thought, jackpot, this is a place where I'm going to get a really great margarita. Yeah, we, I was really excited about it. Yeah. I was like, oh, good. We're going to have good food and a good bar experience. It looked mm, great. It looked great. Until then we sat Rico down. Rico Suave fucking <sighs> served us. That bartender, he, if anybody, I, I hope that somebody recognizes him from this description, but he's like balding and has a mullet. <laughs> yeah. And he is maybe even, I may just be making this up in my mind, but he may have even had like a pencil thin mustache even too. I don't know. And he was like, he looked like he worked out. Like he's probably like late thirties, early forties, like worked out. We went to go sit down and it's like the, the Mexican Tom Cruise from cocktail. No, I don't know why you keep saying that because Tom Cruise was not balding, didn't have a mullet, was young. So um, we sat down and he like he like didn't uh, he, he was like, oh, because there was nobody at the bar just yet or there was nobody at the bar at the time. But there were people like at the surrounding cocktail tables. And he was like, we sat down and he like took forever to come over to us. And then when he finally did, he was like, oh, are you sure? Like, are you sure you want to sit here? You want to sit at maybe one of these tables, like pointing at the cocktail tables? We're like, no, well, we'll sit here. Like what bartender doesn't want, like doesn't want people, I mean, you know? Especially white people. Right. I mean, yeah. Did we look <laughs> like we weren't going to tip? It was super weird. And so then he, uh, and then he's like, he's like, well, what, you know, what do you want to drink? And I was like, I'd like a margarita on the rocks, please. And he went, he promptly went over and fucking got it out of a faucet, yeah, which like is a, like the worst sign ever. One of those, how do you even explain what those machines are? They're like, they're um, like the Slurpee machines or not, whatever. Not like Slurpee. They're like lemonade fruit, mixers Fruit or punch something. machines. Exactly. Where it's running from the outside down in. Oh. oh, it's so ridiculous. And I mean, I got it and it wasn't like the worst thing I've ever had out of machine but i was like like kind of bummed because i was so excited to have margarita and i was ha- I, you know he didn't even right. like he didn't even ask one. me if i wanted to like have so but but strike two <laughs> the big strike came when that real douchey like big tall goofy white guy came up and he was like he was like i'll have a margarita please and like said yeah, it in this weird douchey accent and the bartender like he must have been a regular or something because the bartender was like absolutely sir we're running a special on the july something or something no and he definitely wasn't a regular because like why would he sell to him like that i don't know but he's like we're running it he like he like gave this douche the rundown of like the special margaritas they weird. had for the month of july and i was like why didn't i get a rundown i totally would have bought the new the july special so mad and we open up the menu it has pictures and i'm a little torn on the menu because it had pictures which is a bad sign but it had it was all in spanish like everything was in spanish right which is maybe a good sign because I, mean, I haven't been why, to a mexican restaurant why, a long time that's like why that. it's okay at, a, at an asian asian restaurant what that's why it's okay at an asian restaurant to have pictures in your menu because you see what they're talking about? Yeah. Great. But Spanish, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, Spanish. it was super weird. Not in San Diego. Right. And so we had our drinks and we had put in our order and we got the chips and salsa pretty quickly, which is cool, I guess. And uh, it, it was fine. It wasn't, it was pretty decent salsa, right? 
Uh, nothing great, but it yeah. was okay. It was right. okay. It didn't. It it definitely didn't like set off the flag that the food was gonna be terrible. No, yeah, we're just like because that's that's a big yeah, that's you know at a Mexican restaurant happen. that's the biggest thing. If the salsa is good right away, you know you're in for a good experience. Yeah, but it was like it wasn't horrendous, but it wasn't anything really good. And so then our food comes, and it like you're you'll hopefully be seeing the pictures right now, but it was the most flavorless it looked all right i mean it looked all right it looked i guess yeah it looked it looked all right but the bean the beans had no flavor right the rice had but what did you no have? flavor i had a toast i just i mean i got a tostada and rice and beans right i mean i know i know what to expect I like when i'm asada with like this special sauce I forget, it was like keys what do you, i don't remember what it's called no i don't know what you have we gotta keep those receipts um I, there's a picture of what you have. <laughs> okay. Like that. Um. Anyway, so but yeah, just bland. I mean, and oh. I wasn't totally opposed because of late my ship scale is exactly that. It's like if it doesn't, if they don't try to overdo it and kill it, like I and I think they're kind of fresh ingredients. It won't annihilate me, so I'm yeah. okay. Yeah. But it was just like. It didn't. I mean, I guess it, it tasted. It but terrible. like, what a terrible, what, like, what a terrible, like, justification you you should be making while you're eating Mexican food is like, well, I guess because it's flavorless, my right. my going right. to the bathroom later won't be very painful. Like, right. what a terrible that's thing to think. But that. that's what we were doing. We're like, well, at least I guess maybe it's healthy. <laughs> Ew. Which could be like an Encinitas thing, but it was just the overall experience is pretty terrible. And the bartender, our drinks were empty halfway, at oh, least yeah. at least a third, maybe just a third away through our meal. Yeah, that, never that, came over and refilled it. That never a came over. Ridiculous fucking uh, advertisement for Imperial um, Ale, right? Right, and you wanted to try it. Imperial, it. no Victoria, right? I don't know. What it was either Imperial or Victoria, but it, either way, it's uh, I think it's a Spanish beer. Oh. And that's all I wanted. I was like, yeah, I'll have another one of these. This is great. This will be perfect. We're going to talk about it later. This is what they're advertising. Yeah. You know, and he never even came over he and looked at us. He never came once. over and asked us how anything was. He never refilled our drinks. So service was terrible. The food was crap. Awful. Like I mean, the worst. That was the worst Mexican food I've ever had in my whole life. It's up there. It, it's, for it's, me, it was the worst. I've never been so turned off by like Mexican food. Like when I get food. carne asada. Yeah. Like, expect some flavor right you know something juicy like i want it bursting out like it with was spice it was and bad. Ugh, nothing how many uh that. how many tv heads are we going with? the service was bad and the food was bad and the atmosphere was bad <laughs> like zero i have nothing go good with to, zero i have no tv heads for this place like i have there was nothing good about that experience you're right Sorry. it almost makes it worse that it looked like it was going to be okay yeah oh they drew me in they drew shit. me in i wanted i would have probably tried one of the obscure tequilas on the wall they had a thousand of them right we have pictures of all of this i mean if service was decent i'd give them a star oh if, you know there's if, so many factors if the that bartender if was, was okay. nice and the food was shitty please and we had good drinks it probably would have been up there with three but right. like that guy was awful the food was awful the place was awful and i will never go back so that. please if you ever go to encinitas california do not go to el callejon there's a bunch of better options down the same road just keep fucking walking right um and the other thing was the other thing that really grinded my gears was that when we left and we tipped him 20 percent, and he like grabbed the receipt didn't even make eye contact after i signed it and didn't even say thank you and i was like thanks so much yes. have a great night that guy sucks you're welcome <laughs> yeah he was a dick 